See the sum part. This uh, why it is taking always. The sum part was like it is like i to the zero to the n, and it was going to i q, and it is uh, saying x. So this sum is going to vary from zero. One, two, three, like this. Okay, it it was I. Okay, it was I. So zero Q, then one Q, then two Q, then four Q. Like it will go till n Q. So we are having a formula for that. For the sum of n natural number in the power Q, it is going to be your n into n plus one by. Rest try this two thousand seventeen. Okay, rest try this by two square. So. It will go inside. Is the square will go inside? You will get here n square. Then here you will get n one square. And this when two square is going to be four. So how you will break n square? So it is like a plus b whole square. So it is going to a square plus two ab plus b square. A square is going to be n square. Then two ab is going to be two n. Then one. We are going to get four. Then if you do again, it is going to be n to the power four. Then two n to the power three, then n square, then by four. So biggest term is going to be the the leading term is going to the n to the power four. So that is going to be theta n to the power four. Always the leading term in a function is going to be the theta. Am I clear, Madhura? Am I clear? Madhura, is it clear to you? Let's try this. Get 2015. Himanshu has. Told C is the answer. So for C, I got one vote. Madhura, please let me know whether it is clear or not. Yeah, Madhura is saying clear. Okay. So if you want to write, can I erase? Can I erase, Madhura? M H is saying means Mansoor is saying A. For A, we got one vote. For A, we got one vote. For C, we got again one two. Madhura, uh, Madhura, can I raise this? Okay. Now see. Now see this one. Aman is saying C. I got two vote and A. I got one. Let me see the option, which is the correct. Now see. So F N is saying N and G N is saying one plus sine N. So this is a sine. If you see the equation of a sine, sine values will goes like this. Sine negative, then positive, then negative, then positive, and it will sine is going to vary its value from minus plus one to minus one. There zero. So sine will take some value like zero, minus one, one, then zero, then again minus one, then one. So this is the function. This this way the sine value will vary. So sine value is going to vary from minus one to one. Yeah, sat sat is correct. Amina Amina is a very Amina is giving correct answer. T is the correct one. Neither one and nor two. Very good, very good, Amina. Now see. So sine value is going to vary from minus one to one. Now when sine, now when sine, yeah, correct me, sir. Now sine n, if if it is equal to minus one, then g n is going to you. If it is minus one, then n to the power zero, which is going to be one. Now when sine is equal to zero, you are going to get n. Why? Because one plus zero is your One only power n. When sine is one, then you are going to n square because in place of sine n you are going to get one. So you are going to get n square, n square, and here one. Now it's saying that f n is smaller than equal to f n. f n is your n. f n is smaller than equal to g n. f n is smaller than equal to g n. g n is your f n is your n. But when sine n is equal to one, it is going to be n square. It is then if it is equal to one, then it is n square correct. But when it is equal to 
when it is equal to minus 1 when sin a is equal to minus 1 then it is going to be 1 then it is going to be 1 when a is equal to minus 1 so then this condition will false so when gn is equal to 1 when gn is equal to 1 then sorry this this should be sin n this should be sin n this should be when sin n is, is equal to minus 1 when sin n is equal to minus 1 ok then this condition will false this is incorrect now it is saying f n is greater f n is greater than g n f n is greater than g n so when sin n is equal to 1 g n is going to your n square so when g n is equal to n square f n is always going to n it is not going to be greater it is not going to be greater so neither one nor two because based on the value of sin g n value is going to be vary am i clear Please let me know whether it is clear or not. See, this way also, this way only you have to give the answer. Okay. You have to think that all the options look like that it, it is the correct one, but it is it is not going to be that. Am I clear? You can write since the value of Mansu is saying clear, since the value of sin n, since the value of sin n will always will always remain will always range from from Mansu is saying clear Aman Aman please tell me Aman and image let me know whether it is clear so since the value of sin n will always range from minus 1 to 1 since since g n is equal to other one or n or n square so g n is going to be other one or n or n square hence hence when g n is equal to 1 when g n is equal to 1 then statement 1 is then statement please write it so that when you do the revision so you can recall it so statement 1 is incorrect hence when g n is equal to n square n square then statement 2 is incorrect now if you are done with the writing then you can let me know ok if you are done with the writing then you can let me know now we are going to see the last question of the asymptotic notation and our previous year question of asymptotic notation is going to be finished ok